Prince in disguise. She was moving so well yesterday. Where's Miss Keenan? And she's clearly adapted very quickly from playing in Kolkata, where she was last week, where she won a, a much smaller event there. Super rally. Well, that is taking the mickey, really. So good at that. Reactions at the net. Very quick movement. It is effortless, isn't it, when she times it like that? Well, her level has uh, stayed around the same, Miss It just dropped a, a fraction, perhaps, but Safina is soaring right now and leads 3-2. treatment there and the, and the serve deserved it but boy Safina climbed into it well go into her heading zone really a la Lindsay Davenport there very similar backhand strike that's the way she wants to play yes couldn't quite get enough Velvet touch, could she on the double hander? Well, it was a nice move to get forward, but the approach just wasn't quite good enough. And here the coverage isn't good enough with the two hander. And that's meat and drink to Moschina. Well, Safina let herself down there, and uh, Moschina quick to take advantage. <laughs> Safina doing really well to step in there. I think they've been severed in places. Oh. 
and she's broken back to love. Well, it's swinging one way and another pretty violently at the moment. One of the emerging talents. And there, the throw much better yes. from Mishkina, but it's it's just really a mental thing with her. No, that was poor, wasn't it? So much time to react better than she did. Yes, and just slightly wooden with the hands. Didn't really know what to do. She really is. Well played. Again, it's the serve out wide. Well, it's still working, so I guess while it works, you go with it. Very nearly the second, and commendable serving in the end. Beautiful. She makes shots like that look so easy. Yeah, the second serve was too inviting. Isn't that interesting? It's just like dementia, though, isn't it? You know, there's meltdown on the serve. <laughs> All sorts of torture must be going through the head, and yet she comes back with a point like that. <laughs> well, she's absolutely committed to that wide serve. Well done. The skinner will wonder why she followed her, but she adapted so well. Yeah, there's no hiding places for Dinara out here. It, that's a poor move from Mosquina. It's a pretty big Western grip, so she tends to go cross court when running up to the short ball. That didn't all go well. Just about a shot of the match. Six foot. What Six was that? Six Six Forehand really letting her down. Second real howler in the latter part of this tiebreak. Oh, Moschino will be furious because certainly she would feel in the forehand department that she was much stronger than, than Safina, but she's lost quite a few of those exchanges. <laughs> A 
is the commitment we were talking about right at the start. Oh, yes. So there's the tail of the tape of the first set. Lasted just now on 50 minutes. Oh, it worked! That would have been horror shows, not that one. <laughs> well, it's, it's not a natural shot for Safini. You can see that. The hands are not that soft. Didn't have any of my money on it. <laughs> and that's a perfect tactic for Safini. Make Safina turn. And Mesquina out of jail, and you can see that little wince from Safina. Yeah, well played. Still getting joy from that wide serve. That's caused her a few errors out here this afternoon. Yes, too good. Well, that's what I call a really smart point. Much better pulling her young opponent out of court. And from that position, Safina can't hurt her. What a difference a first serve makes. How cool she looked there. 40, 50. And, and Kleisters would have got that. No problem at all. That right shot for the moment. Done. And it's no problem if she prepares ultra early, and that's what she has to do on this court. Well, well. Normally your money would be on Mosquina from the front court. Classy stuff. Deep second serve. It was light but deep. And a pile driver down the line. Close, very close to being out, not called. <laughs> Again. Ooh. Very well played. It's a it's a super shot to watch. That's really well read from Mosquina. She does move move to the ball. Oh, 
not able to employ it. So. Yes. Made it. One mighty blow may have changed the course of this match. We'll have to see. She's got to back it up with a serve, but that was good. <laughs> She's not a great front runner, Mesquina, but sometimes if you go a break up against her early on in the set, it's not the best idea. Oh, I wasn't sure, were you? <laughs> I wasn't sure at all. It took an age to come down. Yes, beautifully wrong-footed. It did look like the likely shot, didn't it, down the line? Well, some super play in the latter half of that game from Anastasia Moschino. Glorious shot. And there are more and more of them now. <laughs> she is looking what she was last year, absolutely world-class now. Nope. Felt good. <laughs> Take over, Sam. Yeah, a raucous roar from Safina. Served so well in that game. I think that was the best service game so far. Yes, neither of these two are averse to a scream or two. And if Safina is going to take the next step up, when she learns how to, to get from the baseline up to the net, that transition game, then she'll be a completely different player. Great angle. Again, right on the line. That's so good. <laughs> Talking about how, how calm Safina is. What about that from Moschino? No, oh, Moschino just knew. You can see how fast Safina was back there. It wasn't a great drop shot. There was a lot of air. Faster players would have got there, but it was a safe shot. This is for a place in the quarterfinal. Well played. Heart must have been in her mouth. She chose the right option. Certainly encouraging signs there. 
I've got no doubt that Moschina expects herself to win this tiebreak, demands that she does so. But she doesn't want the deficit to get too wide. Safina serving better now. Very close to the absolute corner of the court. No wonder she wants Ronan Herfel to confirm. Not one to overrule, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but it must have been desperately close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see. <laughs> it was mindless, but at least she knows it. Out it was. Second margin that's just gone against her. <laughs> yep. Safina throwing the kitchen sink at her. And again, that's that double hander down the line that does the job. Well, Savina, I don't think, has any thoughts about winning this match, but for her, getting a set would be a minor victory because she's never even won a set before. So really focusing on the moment right now. No. It's away. All the little... Judgment calls have gone against her. I'm not saying that any of them were wrong, but they've all gone just away. And it is Safina then with three set points. Cracking serve. Serves so much better from the left court than the right. Hey, there's a shot. So the train has been called for Anastasia Moschina. Well, I don't think even the WTA Tour trainers, and they have amazing powers, can cure the disappointment you can have from losing a match point in the second set when she really feels now she should be in the locker room. That's very hard for her to deal with. So the words of advice are, are probably as good as uh, anything that she can take for this. Of course, we're none the wiser. She's in distress, there's absolutely sure of that, and she's not feeling anything like 100%. And Miskina leaving the court now. She is on her way back. Out of nowhere. Wham. Well, the serve really did sit up. against her, but not there.
play. Well, Mosquito, Mosquito's gone to the well too often with the drop volleys, and even before that shot was played, Safina was off and running, and if she can anticipate better, she'll have more time to get to the ball and cover the ground. Yeah, I handled that well. Yeah, oh, super play. Now the play from both picking up once more. Welcome back. Mosquina then at 4-5, still having to t stay in this tournament. Let's start off with ace number four. Awesome power and great length too. And overcooking it once more. What is this? She hasn't worked so hard, achieved so much in this match to play like this at this time. This is crazy. Well done. How brave is that? Mosquina just getting the ball back, thinking that there might be an error coming. Not then. Well, such a mixture there from Denara Safina. Two cracking points, but four awful ones, including the two doubles. And really, Mesquina gets a gift, but it is Anastasia Mesquina. This is not over. No, it's not, but you feel Mesquina out of jail in this final set. Doubles really hurting Safina. Four in this final set out of the seven she served so far in this match and actually thought she served better and better as the match has gone on and then it just suddenly let her down the pressure getting to her <laughs> and even if I can't translate Russian which I promise you I can't it's just she I'm sure she's saying opportunity after opportunity yes. No, 
having got back at the rally so well, really worked hard, really moved so well to miss out there off. Oh, yes. Really clear thinking there, taking the pace off. Such a brave shot, surely too brave. And she couldn't make it then. Well, I've seen her do this, a similar thing at match point. I believe it was in the Canadian Open this year where she had an open court, then it took her four or five more games to come through. And finally she's done it again. Almost stumbled over the line. A wry smile. Two good friends. They're going on holiday with each other in a few weeks' time. Haven't worked out the destination yet. And they'll have plenty to talk about after that match. And Mesquina it is, who is through to the quarter-final. And she will play Lindsay Davenport tomorrow, but she needs a long lie down right now. Makes it through. She's sitting with Matthias Stark. Yeah, what a match, Anastasia. Congratulations. What happened at the beginning of the third set? You were leaving the court. Um, well, I'm sorry about that, but I'm a little bit sick, so I had a little bit of trouble with my breathing. And, uh, but thanks, trainer, she helped me a lot. And what happened with the first match point? I mean, what were your thoughts afterwards? Um, well, um, you know, I was really upset because it was, I thought it was a good shot, but you know, I played unbelievable today and it was a tough, tough, really tough match for me. And she's a very special friend of yours. I think you want to spend the holidays together. So how difficult is this to really play a very good friend? Well, you know, when we're in the court, we kind of forget. We're still fighting. I think it was a great match, even that we're friends. And we were fighting for every point and moving well. So I think the crowd, well, I hope you're happy, guys, with our performance. I'm sure they are. By the way, you know the region very well because your coach, Jens, comes from here. Uh, what's about your German? Sorry, <laughs> nothing. Well, I try, but it's really difficult language, you know. But I try really hard to learn something. <laughs> But I know you know one word, because you play some uh, little cards, Dummkopf, right? Just tell us about this nice little tricky game. Well, it's really a special Russian game, and we usually play with my coach, and he learned pretty good, and he's, well, he's winning. He's winning. Last one against Lindsay. Tough one is coming up again, huh? Oh, well, yes, definitely. You know, big surf, you know, really a lot of weapons, but I'll, we'll try, we'll see. Thanks a lot, and hopefully you will recover. Thanks a lot. Well done. <laughs> she did recover well, and she's again got this winning habit.